So you thought Pesach was over, right? Done with all your Sephardi friends making fun of you for not eating kidney oat. Done with having to hear about how we didn't have kosher or Pesach pasta back in my day. We're back in Parsha Kedoshim, the middle of Sefer Vayikra, nothing to do with frogs or the splitting of the sea or the exodus. And yet, references to the Pesach story keep coming up. In fact, it's not just our Parsha. If you do a search for the word Mitzrayim, after this Pesach story ends, it's everywhere. Yasar HaDibro, the Man, Navi Sheker, Tzitzit, all the dates in the Torah, the Tochacha, before the Jews are going into Israel. It's everywhere. Possibly the most extreme example of where Tzia Mitzrayim comes up unexpectedly is in our Parsha. Don't pervert justice. Be fair in justice. I'm glad it took you out of Mitzrayim. Why? What does one have to do with the other? Why does being fair in business have to do with us leaving Egypt? Why does it keep coming up? So sometimes the message and the connection between Yitzhia Mitzrayim and the mitzvah is clear. For example, be nice to the slave. Be nice to the ger, because you know what it was like being one of those yourselves. Incredible messages. Our faith is founded on the fact that God intervened in history to stand up for the weak in the face of the oppressor, and so too, as the basis for who we are, we stand up for those who nobody else is staring at God for, nobody else is caring for. We bring justice and equality to everyone. Or if Jonathan Sachs has beautiful essays bringing this idea to life. So that connection, that connection we get. Or the references before we go into Israel. It makes sense. I'm going to remind the Jews of the last time that they had to deal with another strong society and God helped them through it. And the message is that God is involved in the Jewish people's history. That's how our nation started. God continues to be involved in our history behind the scenes. Very nice connection. Bechor, Sukkot. For all of these, you can explain why there's a connection between what happened in Mitzrayim and how it interacts with what, we, what we're doing now. But weights, being ethical in business. So you could probably think of a way to connect those to Yitzhia and Mitzrayim, but... It certainly would feel like a stretch, no? So the Mepharshim on the spot gives some really interesting connections between being ethical in business and Yitzhia Mitzrayim. The Nitzhia, for example, says that God took us out of a place where he was providing sustenance, and so God continues to provide that sustenance for us now, and we don't have to lie in our businesses because God is going to be there for us. Very interesting connection. Rashi quotes a Gemara that says that just like God discerned between who was a Bechor and who wasn't in Mitzrayim, so too God will know if you are cheating in your business and you're using a fake weight. Fascinating, really interesting connection. But I wonder if there's something a little broader going on here. You can't boil down all of Yitzhiyat Mitzrayim into a series of a few different life lessons that each one translates into a mitzvah. When you have an event that's so all-encompassing like Yitzhiyat Mitzrayim, it becomes the basis for how you view the world and a foundational piece of who the Jewish people are in all of the mitzvot. In fact, the very notion of seeing all the mitzvot as not just an isolated command, but as part of a story with a people, with a past, where they're headed, it fills in and gives depth to all of the mitzvot. So is Mosnei Tzedek about looking out for the weak? Is it about being aware of God's precise judgment? About faith in God's ability to provide for us? Seeing God's hands in our history? It's all of those. And all of the mitzvot that say they're Zechel Yitzhiyat Mitzrayim or the ones that don't say they're Zechel Yitzhiyat Mitzrayim are all trying to convey all of these messages. It's about to be Yom HaShoah here in Israel. Next week is Yom HaZikaron, Yom HaTzma'ut. If you talk to someone who's a Holocaust survivor or whose parents were or someone who was in the Six Day War or the Yom Kippur War, these things inform who these people are. It plays out in their entire persona. It's not that there's some specific series of life lessons that they can tell you about what they learned. They have those also. But these world-changing events remind us of our people's story, of where we came from as a people, where we're going. And it puts a certain perspective into everything that they do. So I hope you enjoyed Pesach. I hope you have a meaningful Yom HaShoah, Yom HaZikaron, Yom HaTzma'ut. And as we read about these many mitzvot in Parshat Kedoshim this week, or even Parshat Achremot if you're in Chutz Aretz, we can see these mitzvot as part of a larger story of a people and use that perspective to bring holiness, meaning, and purpose into everything that we're doing.